Hello beautiful people, it's your girl Nason with Expansive Taste. So today we're talking about how to get princess treatment from your boyfriend, um, how to get the best out of him pretty much throughout your whole relationship so that it's smooth and that you can stay happy. We're gonna get right into it. The first step I have for you is to um, treat yourself like a princess. You can't expect him to treat you like a princess if you don't value yourself enough to treat yourself like a princess. So whatever this means, the things that you need to do in order to elevate how you feel about yourself, you need to have hobbies that you love doing, you need to have a self-care routine, you need to have a certain amount of maintenance so that when he steps in, he will see that you already have a certain maintenance level that's already to a certain standard and he is not meant to interrupt that so if you show up as just like your frumpy self at all times he's just going to think that's all he needs to maintain but when he sees that you normally are someone with like a good happy mood and you take care of yourself you have this certain standard of life he's going to pretty much be more inclined to maintain that because he wants you to stay exactly how you are in a sense when he sees you in your positive energy and feminine embodiment, like he is going to want to maintain that and also add on to it so that, you know, he could continue to see that and see it grow. And he can find, he can, um, he's going to want to be responsible for maintaining this happy princess, okay? Now, I have to say something a little serious because the thing is, some men aren't going to be happy to have a princess, okay? Some men just do not feel like they are enough. They just don't have the container and space for something so great. So you got to ask yourself first, does this guy actually like me? Does he actually love me? And I like to think of the song by Sierra. If that boy don't love you by now, he will never, ever, never, ever love you. So don't put up with a guy who's not going to actually be all in, okay? It's not worth it. He's going to find a way to just dog you down and i don't know make you feel unimportant and unworthy so that eventually you just kind of like you know just put your sweats on and stop taking care of yourself stop doing all your hobbies stop hanging out with your friends that's pretty much what he wants he wants you to feel low so that he can not have to put any effort in okay so throw him away if that's the guy that you are with throw him away he doesn't want to see you succeed he doesn't want to see you be happy but find yourself a guy that wants to see you happy so you treat yourself like a princess, you found the guy that actually likes your company, and now you need to be able to have boundaries. You need to know your boundaries and know what you're pretty much not going to put up with and know how you're going to invest your time with yourself. And by that, I mean you need to have a life that is separate from him. So that means having your own having your own friends, having your own hobbies, having things that you do that don't necessarily involve and depend on him. You need to have those things that just fulfill yourself and um, don't really have anything to do with them. You don't want to make your happiness dependent on a guy, okay? You need to have some things that are just for you that you can enjoy doing and you need to make sure that you make time for that and that he's not necessarily always invited into that thing with you. So if you do decide to do something you love and include him, it's like it's an honor, it's an invitation. It's not just something that you guys do together all the time. It's something that he's he might even look forward to doing with you because he knows it's just your thing. Also, don't sacrifice your own well-being in order to please this guy. An example for that is like, if you know that you have to be home by a certain time, like 10 o'clock, but he wants you to stay longer, you know, he wants to spend more time with you and it's sweet and whatnot. But you know that if you do stay longer, then you're not going to enjoy your drive home in that you're going to not get enough sleep at night and you have a whole hour bedtime routine okay you gotta get that routine down and you can't be spending an extra 20 30 minutes over there cutting into your bedtime routine okay so you have to make sure that you are strict with your boundaries and you're just like no i it's 10 o'clock i gotta go um something like that because once you sacrifice the things that are valuable to you and your own well-being, he is going to get used to that and he's eventually just going to expect it more and more and you're not going to be happy because you're going to you're not going to get the princess treatment that you want. And of course, if you want to have princess treatment, you have to know how to communicate. You have to express what you actually want, 
express your needs express your desires don't do it in a nagging way don't do it in a passive aggressive way like oh look uh looks like her boyfriend got her flowers i wonder when i'll get my flowers don't do that stuff just be direct and tell him you know what it would make me really happy if you were to buy me flowers or I think i've been really wanting to try this restaurant and i just haven't found the time to do it or someone to go with i want to go to the beach this summer i want you to dress up today for our date Anything that you want, you need to be able to express it to him, especially when he's asking. And to make these things into habits that he just follows, you need to be able to say thank you and show appreciation when he does these things. Um, no matter how small, you have to be able to say thank you um, and that you appreciate it. Like, make a big deal out of the smallest thing sometimes, you know? Like, if he just opens the door for you, even if he does it pretty much all the time, just say, you know what, I really appreciate it when you open the door for me. It makes me feel like I'm being taken care of. Thank you so much for getting takeout tonight. I was so stressed about what I was going to eat tonight, and you made life so easy for me. I really appreciate it. Whenever I'm on my period and you ask me if there's anything you can bring me, I feel so loved in that moment, and it makes me feel safe knowing that I have some one who will take care of me when I'm in pain. I really like it when you send me those random memes throughout the day. It makes me feel like you're thinking of me. You can legit say thank you and show appreciation for anything. The more you are doing this, he's going to feel more rewarded and just be more motivated to continue doing those actions and even to try new things and gift and find new ways to just be like more decent to you and more giving. And it's the same both ways. If you don't feel appreciated for something, you're going to be less likely to do it. If you're not letting him know that you recognize when he is putting in effort, he's not going to put in as much effort. One pretty big thing is that you need to be able to know how to receive. And for some reason, sometimes when we're just not feeling worthy or we're feeling a bit insecure, we're just less likely to be able to receive things like compliments. Um, you know, receive pretty much anything that someone brings us. You know, we talk about, oh, no, you shouldn't have, and I didn't really need this or whatever. Like, stop, stop doing that. Again, with the appreciation thing, if you can't just appreciate what someone gives you, they're just not going to want to give you things as much anymore. Like, you could be someone who doesn't like receiving flowers. I know multiple women who don't like flowers because they just, like, die later or whatever, but I like it. But if he brings you flowers and you're not really that fond of flowers, the best option is still to show appreciation. You could say, thank you so much for getting me these flowers. They're absolutely beautiful, but I would prefer to have this as a gift. Um, but still, like just because you're not that excited about the flowers doesn't mean you just throw them away. No, put them in a vase, make it look pretty, you know, make it a centerpiece. Still value those flowers as a representation of the thought that he had for you. Um, but yeah, hopefully next time he'll just get you something that you like. And I have a personal example, so confession, I don't know how to ride a bike. And my boyfriend knows this and he's been making it a mission to teach me how to ride a bike. So yesterday, he got me a bike. Um, and honestly, my reaction, I was just, I was just quiet for two minutes straight because I was just like, because the way I saw it, I was like, you just gave me a task, a huge task that I'm now responsible for. Now you actually got me a bike and now I have to use it. And it feels like a little bit of a burden. Um, but I, I switched it up <laughs> and I just was like, you know what? Okay, I'll learn. This is a gift that you're giving to me. I had to think of it from his perspective. And his perspective is that I should know how to ride a bike by now. And it's a sorry life if I don't know how. It's not just a bike that he wants to give me. He wants to give me the experience of a basic skill that I should have learned in my childhood. He wants to give me a tool that I can use to transport myself, you know, around the town. So we're going to be practicing again and eventually, very soon, I'm going to learn how to ride a bike even though I was fine with never learning for the rest of my life. Another tip is that you have to be able to pick your battles. Um, there are going to be some disagreements along the way and you just have to know which ones are worth fighting for and which ones are you just gotta let go because they're not really that big of a deal. Just pick your battles and keep things as smooth and peaceful as possible. You don't want to be nitpicking at little things that don't really matter because once you start doing that, you're giving him an invitation to start doing that to you. 
it would also help to establish your roles um mm -hmm. so this could be you know the stereotypical gender roles or you got to come together with your partner and discuss which things are just like going to be done by each person because what we don't want is to make life super stressful and have like both of you guys doing every single thing like sometimes you just need one person to do one thing and another person to take care of the other thing like for example i can drive but whenever my boyfriend and i are driving together he's he's on the wheels he's behind the wheels okay even if we're using my car he's usually the one that's driving and I'm pretty much the only time I will drive is that if I'm dropping him off somewhere or picking him up somewhere also of course if you want to be treated like a princess you got to treat him like a king okay you got to treat him like a prince or whatever whatever he wants to be treated like okay, okay. men have feelings okay um, and they want to be taken care of too so you have to find ways in which you can make him feel special too you gotta boost his ego you gotta give him the compliments you gotta you know bring him some surprise gifts too you have to be able to provide him with something that he is not able to bring himself. There are so many ways in which you can make a guy feel special. You could cook him a meal. You could decide to set a date at one of his favorite locations. You could take him skating. I don't know. But something that he is not going to think of doing, but you deciding to take the initiative to make it happen a relationship goes both ways and you can't just be thinking about what you can get out of someone you have to be able to give a guy something and no it's not just the punani okay it's a lot more than that you gotta give him something that's of value that he legit cannot get anywhere else you gotta bring some ex excitement and joy into his life you gotta make him want to keep you around in the same way that you want to feel taken care of and loved he also wants to feel taken care of and loved so you know when he has a story to tell when he wants to talk about something that you know nothing about when he like let's say he really likes motorcycles or he just wants to talk about his job let him talk okay let him talk don't interrupt just let him do his thing be in his zone don't be mean and talk about how his interests are stupid and they waste time like if he loves playing video games then let him play his video games okay like he's allowed to have things that he also enjoys which is why you need to have things that you enjoy so you're not invading and i don't know being a succubus taking away from his his things that bring him happiness you know have your own things so that he can have his own things and let him be happy in his own space too that's pretty much all i have for you today i could you know expand on this more later depending on what you guys want to hear about so leave some comment down below and thank you so much for watching beautiful people make sure you like comment share and subscribe i send you my love Mwah. bisous